Hi, Taylor with Outpost Campers here, and this is the Outpost 6.5, a four season lightweight composite slide in truck camper. And in this video today, we're gonna show you how the Nomadic X2 48 volt DC powered air conditioner works for this camper to keep you cool in an off grid environment. Let's hop in the truck and check out the air conditioner. Standing here inside the Outpost 6.5, you can see we have our optional 48 volt X2 Nomadic air conditioner unit uh, installed in this camper. This is a particularly innovative air conditioner because it runs directly on 48 volt DC battery power. Whereas most RV air conditioners on the market, you have to be plugged into shore power uh, to be able to run an air conditioner. This one will run directly on the 48 volt battery power supplied by the five kilowatt hour lithium battery in the EcoFlow system that comes standard on the Outpost 6.5. That means you can have air conditioning off grid somewhere really remote where you don't have to be plugged in uh, you can still have air conditioning on a hot day. Uh, we like this air conditioner. It's very low profile uh, here in the ceiling. It's also low profile on the roof. It only sticks out about seven inches. Um, you have adjustable vents so you can direct the airflow anywhere you need to in the camper. And it has three modes, uh, eco mode for a lower power consumption, max mode for max cold air output, and just a fan mode if you're trying to uh, run a fan here in the camper. Um, let's get into the test that we're doing here today on the Nomadic unit. So for our real world use test today for our air conditioner running on off-grid battery power, we are, uh, you know, it's an August uh, day in Colorado, in Bayfield, Colorado, with a high around the 90 degrees. Um, right now at about 9 a.m. we're sitting at about 67 degrees exterior temperature, 71 degree interior temperature. Um, we have had the windows open in here, but we're in full sun. Um, so I haven't turned the air conditioner on yet, but this is our starting condition, 67 outside, 71 inside. Uh, on our touchscreen, you can see we have an already depleted battery. Um, we're at 46% charge. We're bringing in a little bit of solar right now off the roof with the low angle morning sun and a cloud just passed over. Um, we're also gonna hook up our 400 watt portable panel um, for this test. So we're gonna be getting some good solar input hopefully while we're running the air conditioner. And we're gonna see how well the Nomadic X2 keeps the camper cool on this hot day and how much energy we consume uh, with our solar inputs, um, helping offset our energy consumption with our EcoFlow power system. Okay, so getting ready for our test, we're gonna close up all of our windows. So we're gonna try and keep that outside air and sun out. Our windows here have this really nice blackout shade with a reflecting uh, panel on the opposite side. So that's gonna help keep the sun out, which is gonna be critical if you're trying to keep it nice and cool in here. So we're gonna shut all these windows up and we're gonna fire up the AC. So once I have the AC on, I can set the desired temperature for it to hold. I can turn on my different modes. We have AC, we have our max mode, fan mode, auto, which will bounce automatically between eco and max, or we can just set to eco where it's gonna uh, run the compressor at a little lower wattage. Um, we can also adjust the fan speed if we want to, um, if you want that cool air blowing hard on you um, or not so hard, that's adjustable as well. Okay, it's 12 o'clock noon right now. It is getting hot out here. It is uh, not comfortable standing out here in the Colorado sun. Uh, the air conditioner's been running for about two and a half hours. Uh, let's hop inside and see what we're looking at for temperature in the camper and power consumption. Okay, so two and a half hours in, you can see our exterior temperature is up to 90 degrees. It's getting hot outside. Uh, our interior temperature, we're holding 73. So, and that just bumped up to 73 from 72, I think, when we came in and let some hot air in the camper. Um, and if you look here at the power, we've actually gone up in charge from 45 to 53%. And we are currently between our rooftop solar and our portable solar array. We're bringing in 593 watts. We're drawn just under 300, 400, or just under 400 watts um, with the AC running. So standing in here, very comfortable. We are holding a comfortable temperature 
in full sun in the heat of the day. Okay, it's 1 p.m. now. We're in the dead heat of the day. It is hot out here. Um, getting a little cloud cover, but mostly in full sun still. Let's hop in the camper and see where we're at on eco mode at this point in the day. Okay, so we are currently showing 93 outside, so pretty hot in the full sun um, for sure out there. We're showing 75 on the inside of the camper. We're getting some clouds coming in, so our solar power inputs going down. Uh, our outputs, I think our fridge, we got the fridge running too, it's just something we should know, along with the air conditioner and our lights and stuff. So I think the fridge just cycled on, we're over 400 watts. Um, but we're still, uh, we're still showing uh, more charge than we started the day with. Um, so that's cool, we're at 55%. And because we're at 75 degrees and we got the thing set to 70, uh, we're going to kick it up to max for a while, see if we can bring that temp down. Uh, I can tell you just standing here under the AC, you wouldn't really need to because it's very comfortable compared to the outside temperature. But uh, let's kick this thing into high gear and see what kind of power consumption we get when we're running it um, uh, through the heat of the day at the highest output and see if we can get our temperature down. Okay, so you can see we just kicked the thing up to max. You can actually hear the compressor on the AC powering up a little harder and you can see our power consumption jumping from you know, three, 400 watts up to now we're getting over 700 watts. Um, but we should, we also, our sun just peaked out behind the clouds with our 500 watts of solar on the roof and our portable panel, we're at almost 700 watts. So we're still actually almost charging right now, which is pretty incredible, even running on full blast. But we should get more cold output out of the air conditioner. We're gonna let it run like this for about an hour on full blast and uh, see if we can get that temp down from 75 in the heat of the day. All right, it's now 2.30 p.m. So our last update, we kicked the Nomadic AC onto the full blast mode um, to help bring the temperature down. It was about 75 on the interior. Um, it's still super hot out for the last hour and a half. We've had kind of intermittent cloud cover, um, but a lot, of, a lot of sun still and still very warm. Let's check out the inside. A little less than an hour and a half later, uh, we're at 92 on the outside right now. That's because we've had some intermittent cloud cover. We've dropped from 75 to 73 in here. So hottest part of the day on full blast, we actually were able to get the temp down a little bit um, and holding at 73. We did finally consume some power. So we're down to 49%. So we started the day at 45%. Now between our eco mode and uh, full blast mode, we are at 49%. So we've still gone up, but we've uh, used a little power in the last hour and a half instead of gaining it. Um, that's a combination of running the air conditioner on a higher power consumption and uh, losing a little bit of sun for some cloud cover in the last hour and a half. But very comfortable in here, it feels great under the AC. It feels super hot outside. <laughs> It's 3.30 p.m. and we're gonna wrap up our AC test and see how the air conditioner performed at a little over six hours of runtime on a hot day here in Colorado. Let's check out how it did. Okay, so after a little over six hours of runtime from 9 a.m. to about 3.30 p.m., we have achieved a pretty comfortable temperature in here. It stayed at 73 degrees. Um, honestly, it feels cooler in here standing under the AC, like almost uncomfortably cool. If you were working in here, you probably probably would have to uh, turn the AC up a little bit. Um, but in total, we started at 45% battery. We ended at 38% battery and we're still going. It's 94 outside, 73 inside. It's safe to say that you can run an air conditioner on battery and solar power all day and stay comfortable on a hot day. So the results of our air conditioning tests with the Nomadic AC and the Outpost 6.5 uh, were pretty great. On a hot day, uh, over 90 degrees uh, temperature readings we were getting out here, we saw the Nomadic AC unit with a mix of running the AC for about half the time on eco mode and about half the time on full blast. We kept the temperature down over 20 degrees from the exterior air temperature. 
and it felt cooler in there than what we were getting with the ambient temperature. So we were getting 73 degrees on the inside, 94 on the outside. But when you're st standing in the camper with that cold air blowing on you, it actually it actually feels cooler. So um, I would say very positive performance. We only lost 7% battery the whole day. While we were running on eco mode, we were actually gaining charge from our from our solar. Then we had some clouds move in and we turned the AC on full blast. So we ended up um, going down over six hours of runtime only only 7% with our solar gain. Um, but yeah, I would say overall, I mean, if you're looking for a way to stay cool on a hot day like this, uh, in this test, it performed quite well. Things to consider here uh, in our test, this is not a perfect test by any means, but there really would be no perfect test because every time you use AC, you're probably gonna be in a different environment with different weather, different shading conditions, all that. We did this test in full sun for most of the day. There was a little bit of clouds, um, but the camper itself was in full sun. We weren't parked in the shade. So we were getting solar gain. Um, that solar gain was you know, kind of intermittent depending on if we were in full sun or not. We've got 500 watts of solar on this. We had a 400 watt portable panel set up. So we had the opportunity to capture a lot of solar energy um, being parked out here. If you're running on straight battery power, uh, you're gonna consume more of the battery than we did today under the similar test. If you're in the shade, you're not gonna get power. Um, Etc. A, a sunnier day, we would have actually gained more power because we, um, you know, wouldn't have had any shading. Uh, so there's a lot to consider. But what I take away from it is being that it's a very energy efficient air conditioner. It doesn't produce like massive amounts of BTUs like an air conditioner in a house would. It uses a small amount of power in this small but very well insulated space that's thermal transfer free. You put your hand on these panels while we're in full sun on the inside and you do not feel any heat coming through at all. Um, it really does perform, perform quite well. So it's not a perfect test. Your environment's gonna be different. It's, uh, it's hot here today, but it's not super humid in Colorado. So if you live in a more humid climate, you might see different results. Um, it's just important to note that results are gonna vary by all these different conditions uh, that we're describing here. So some tips for using the Nomadic AC unit uh, to conserve energy and get the maximum performance would be um, one really cool trick that I've used is I've run the AC while I'm driving. And uh, while you're getting DC to DC charge through the EcoFlow system, on most trucks we see between five and 800 watts of charge coming from the truck's alternator. That's enough to run the AC and still charge on eco mode or you know, sometimes even totally offset on uh, max mode. So you can actually pre-cool the camper while you're driving to camp. And uh, pre-cooling is key. It uh, takes a lot more energy to actually bring that temperature down uh, once you let the camper get hot than just to maintain a cool temperature. So another tip would be like how we demonstrated today. We started running the AC earlier in the day before it got super hot and just let it maintain. That actually uses less energy than if you let it get to 99 degrees in the camper and try to bring it down. Um, using solar to help offset your power consumption can give you a lot more runtime on the AC. So if you have a portable solar panel or the rooftop panels, if you have good sun exposure, that's really gonna help. Um, you know, so just monitoring your power and using eco mode too when you can. On a lot of conditions, eco mode's gonna be enough to keep it feeling nice and cool in there. So use eco mode when you can, use full blast, uh, the max mode only when you need to. That's gonna, that's gonna help save your battery power. Of course, if you're plugged into grid power, you can run this thing all you want. But that's not what we were testing here today and that's not really what we designed this camper you know to do um, it's designed to go off grid and be comfortable in a variety of conditions so if uh if you find this interesting you're interested in, in learning more about the nomadic ac unit and how it works on our camper you can uh check us out at outpostcampers.com